Hi, my name is Zeb, I'm from The Finish Line. I'm just gonna give you a really quick demo today of The Finish Line Central. So, The Finish Line Central is a cloud platform. It's, uh, that word gets thrown around a lot and it's really annoying, but uh, it is what it is. The, the system itself is basically a, a, a backend that we've built that allows us to have as many uh, cloud computers and uh, servers running simultaneously as we want. So the, we could run 10 AVIDs with shared storage and everything all at once. The um, best thing I can do is really just jump straight in. So I'm gonna jump in here. This is, uh, I've just got DaVinci Resolve running here. So I can jump straight into this demo here and open up some media files and I can add those to a timeline um, and I can go then and take those and export them out and do whatever I like. Uh, I'm just showing you this so you can get a rough gauge of the power of the system, how well it runs and what it's capable of. Uh, but I'll get rid of that for now and show you the rest of the system. So you can see here Central 1, Central 2, Central 3, Central 4, and Central 5. These are all independent computers. So these are all running the same setup, same configuration, running Avid. They're all connected to a server that we're hosting in the cloud, which has shared storage. That shared storage can be scaled to as much space as you want, and you can organize it however you like. So we could set up these partitions however you want. Uh, we've set this up at the moment to sync between our office and here just for the sake of this demo with uh, Russia's space. So on there we've got a little folder with a few media files uh, just so I can show you transcoding and whatnot. And then we've got an offline space where Avid media files and projects and resolve bits and bobs and the attic and things like that go. So the way this works, if I jump into system one here, is... I can jump into Avid and say I wanted to bring in some media like you would in any post-production facility or production company doing their own ingests. I'll go in and I can link to this media and pull that in. And that's all linked to in Avid now. And let me just quickly pop open a file so we can have a quick squiz. All right, so that's all working as you might expect it to. But uh, where this system becomes really powerful is that I can then leverage the speed of multiple computers to do my work. So if I've got a set of rushes like this, I'm running five systems. So let's go and make another four bins and we'll call this one five. And then in these four bins, I'm gonna shove some media. So let's take uh, that one, shove that in there. Let's take those three files, shove them over there. Let's grab that guy, put him there. And then let's grab him and these two for that bin there. And then we can leave that one where it is. If I close those all. So we've got five bins and I've just really quickly just shoved a bit of media in each one just so that I can, sh I can show you how this works. So if I jump over to uh, system two now and then uh, jump into Avid and let's open bin two and I can set that clip off transcoding. So let's transcode and let's send that to offline, quarter is, low bandwidth, let's stick with that and keep source frame rate. Cool, that all makes sense. So let's kick that off. Um, I'll jump into system three and let's open bin three there, do the same. Transcode, offline transcode, all my settings look good. Set that off, jump into system four, pop that open. Let's grab bin four, grab those files, transcode, offline, quarter res. 
that's all going. And then last but not least, system five. So if we jump into here, grab that file and set that going. So transcode, quarter res, everything looks looking good. And that can go. Okay, so now while that transcodes away, I can then go back to my main system. So let's say we go back to number one here. Uh, and I haven't set that off, so let's set off number one doing some transcoding. So I could have system one organized so that I could sit here and do more prep uh, while the other systems are transcoding, um, or I could launch another 10 systems, five systems, 20 systems, whatever, um, and use those systems to outsource more transcoding. So basically, you know, if I was running 10 systems a day and I had 100 hours worth of transcoding to get done, I could do that 100 hours with one person and 10 systems in a, in a 10 hour day. So uh, let me just kick that off so that that can transcode away. And then, um, and that's it really. So that's the, the, the nuts and bolts of it. So you can see that Avid is running. I've got shared bins. My bin locks are working. All of that is replicated within the system. So you're, you essentially have a complete uh, post facility in the cloud. So there's, there's nothing that you're missing out here. Because you're running full versions of Avid, you're not limited with the various codecs and things that you can have. And, and obviously you could run Media Encode or Premiere or, or Resolve and do whatever you want. You know, these are fully fledged computers with GPU acceleration uh, and everything plumbed in. So they are running as you would expect any uh, machine to run at a post house. Uh, or production company. So uh, I'm gonna just leave those going and uh, sign off here. And I hope you've enjoyed that. If you wanna get in touch with us, obviously thefinishline.pro uh, is our website. So you can look into who we are, what we do. And uh, if you wanna drop us an email, you can drop us an, uh, an email at info at thefinishline.pro. Cool, I hope you've enjoyed. Bye.